What's up everyone, welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about the one of the best devices that I bought this year that is the 2020 iPad Pro. But first, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's get this video started. So this is the 2020 iPad Pro in space gray, metallic gray. I don't know specifically what it's called. Let me just check. Yeah, it is the space gray version. Sorry for that. Actually, I was planning to get this for a while, but I was like confused about the iPad Air, the coming one, because when I bought this, it wasn't launched and I was confused that it is the iPad Pro coming out, is the iPad Air, but when it was finally the iPad Air is coming out, I went ahead and bought myself an iPad Pro. Talking about hardware, this thing is BEA beautiful. I just love the way it feels in hand. You can just, you can see it's a premium device. Now there are two variants of it. One is the 11 inch and the other one is 12.9 inch, which I have. Because I wanted a bigger screen to work with, I can actually take notes and have my PDF or like book or something on the other hand. And it's a bigger screen to work with. But if you have like smaller hands or you think 12.9 uh, inch is a bit excessive, Feel free to go with the 11 inch and I think most of the people would actually go with the 11 inch because uh, they want to use it as their secondary device and they just want to carry this around and it would be easier for them. But for me, I was trying to replace my laptop with this one uh, so I can take it to like everywhere with me and I have everything. I have a bigger screen to work with. But if you like 11 inch, go for it. And internally, there is not much difference, just like uh, the iPad 2018, where the smaller one had four gigs of RAM, the bigger one had six gigs of RAM. But uh, for 2020, both of these devices have six gigs of RAM and they have different storage spaces. Mine is 256 GB, but you can actually go up to one terabyte if you are planning to keep it uh, as your permanent device. You have to use it all the time. You have to use it as your computer. You can just go move up to one terabyte. You have the option for it. The screen is pretty nice. It's a 120 hertz display and combine it with four stereo speakers. It's a beast. It's a multimedia device. You can use it anywhere you want. I live in a shared apartment with my roommates and I don't usually like to use the living room TV because uh, it will disturb them. So we usually use our laptops and our phones to use to watch TV, Netflix and everything. But since I got this device, I've enjoyed watching like experience because my laptop is a pretty big device. It's heavy, like it's not comfortable. But right now I have peace. I have a really good multimedia device. And even when I'm like in the kitchen cooking or cleaning in the living room or whatever, this device is with me all the time, playing music, playing TV, listening to a podcast. It just works perfectly. Compare it with the 2018 version of the iPad Pro. Uh, there's not much changes to it. In the front, you cannot even tell if it's a 2018 or a 2020 version. At the back, there is a little bit of difference. You can see there is a change in camera. I don't know if the camera can focus. Yeah, you can see there is a camera bump right now. You have two lenses and a LiDAR scanner. The 2018 version, if you remember, it only has uh, one camera. It's not a big update, but if you are if you already have a 2018 version, this is not the reason that you would up, want to upgrade, right? But if you don't have an iPad Pro, this really comes in handy. For example, uh, if I'm in a meeting or I'm in a class, I need to take a quick snap of the document or a paper I have or something on the slide. But this works pretty good because if you're too close to a computer or something, this can uh, the wide angle can help you snap a quick photo pretty fast. You don't have to go far. And if you're it's the document, you would look stupid in a meeting or something, picking up your device like up like this just to get an angle on it. With an wide angle, you can just uh, be pretty close and just snap it real quick without even people noticing that. So it's a pretty good camera. Uh, and with the LiDAR scanner, LiDAR is usually used for AR, but you don't use it for most of the app. A regular person doesn't use it often. I have just used it when I bought the device, I just used it to check out. It's a, it's a gimmick, but for the future, if there are certain apps, you work in a interior design or something, this will really help you. The deciding factor for me for going with the iPad, because I just love Android and the Galaxy Tab S7 just came out, was this, the Apple Pencil 2. 
it just feels pretty awesome in the ways I get my hands before buying this iPad I actually went to the store and got the Tab S7 Plus I tried it out the device was pretty good but the reason why I chose the iPad is to go with this pencil it just feels really comfortable in your hand it for me, I think this is the only thing that makes an iPad Pro a Pro because without this device, without this accessory, the iPad, the Apple Pencil, the iPad is just another multimedia device. It's just a tab, you watch movies on it, you write a bit on it, but this is what makes it a Pro. Getting an iPad without this pen is no option for me, so I think this is the best device. And for the 2020 version, the Apple, I think for 2018 too, it does that, but the Apple Pencil too. The best thing compared to the Apple Pencil 1 is just it sticks right here and it charges automatically. You don't have to take it out again, like put it back down like the iPad Pros before. It's just here and charges automatically and you don't use it. It's it's pretty tough. It's You will not lose it easily. So it's I think it's pretty good. Another thing I loved about the hardware is the battery life. It's, it's more of a software and hardware both, but this device lasts. And the best part, it uses a USB Type-C charger. I, I don't know, the iPhone still uses the uh, the Lightning C cable. I don't know if for the 11 they have the Type-C. I'm not sure about it, I don't use it. But for me, this is the best part because I use an Android, I use a Samsung phone, it has Type-C and it, if it had a Lightning charger or something else, I would have to carry two separate chargers for these. Moving on from the hardware to the things that I actually loved about this. The first point is it's portable it's quite light it's you can take this anywhere you want it's it's a 12.9 inch device but still it's pretty light and even if you if you have a 11 inch ipad pro it's going to be lighter than this and more because i personally feel this point too much because i have a bigger laptop i have a 15 inch laptop it's pretty heavy and i live quite far from the university and i like to be productive but it's quite uncomfortable when i take this bag with the laptop out of my bag, open it in front of everyone. It makes me unco uncomfortable. It makes the person next to me uncomfortable. With this, you can get started anywhere, which leads me to my second point, productivity. This point differs for each person because each person uses their device according to their needs. But for me, as a student's point of view, this thing makes me productive so much. You have no idea. I felt a difference in the last semester. For example, uh, with, I have a bigger laptop, right? So. When I was working on a group assignment or something, I had to take this thing, just because I had my books in there, I had to take this thing uh, all the way to the university, open it up, makes other uncomfortable. It was pretty heavy, you have to have charger with it. And I was just like neglecting group work. I was just like, okay, I'll just work from home. And I was just ignoring it. But with this, I have my all my books in it, so I can I have access to it anywhere I want. This is just an initial review. I will do a detailed study on how I use my iPad day to day, how it's changed my life. But for right now, I can just say that each person differs and you can, no matter who you are, you can just be productive on it more. You can schedule your events on it more than the phone because this phone, this is a really distracting device. You have all your social media on it. You plan to do something productive on it. You pull it out, you see a notification, you get distracted. But with this, it's just like your personal assistant that doesn't let you get distracted either, or else you just uh, install some social media apps on it. So it's, it's on you. But... This thing is a productiveness machine. It just helps you be productive. Now moving on to the few disappointing things that I really hate about this device. Like it, it was really frustrating. Now I used this device for about a month and the only thing that I noticed about it, the few things that I noticed about it is related to the software, not the hardware. Starting with the app called OneDrive. Most of us use it for our student ID or something. We upload our files on it. Last semester, I was at the end of the semester, I was actually finishing my report on it. I converted it into PDF. It was quite a big file. And I just, I had to leave home because I was being late for my job. So I just uploaded to the OneDrive because I had to share it with my group mates. But when I uploaded, it just didn't show me any kind of status bar. Now, I remember for Android, when you upload anything or something, you just get a status bar. Even if you download it, you get a status bar. You know where you're at, what's your progress. but. For, the, for for this, it's I think it's the same for iPhone too. I I don't use iPhone anymore because of this issue. Uh, it just gives you. It doesn't give you a progress. It just gives you a loading icon near the notification or the command center near that, and it doesn't even represent anything. It just tells you that the, your device is using your internet or data. And another big issue that I notice is also with the software is with the file explorer of this device. Now. 
again i use file explorer on my windows pc i use file explorer on my android device and these file explorers on these devices give you a really powerful and immersive experience you can see each and every file you want, you can you have on your drive even though you cannot open it for some reasons you still can see it but with the apple system the file explorer is pretty weak but the error there was a bug that i noticed on the apple file explorer system was i transferred something from my external drive device and it, it worked but the thing that i noticed was uh when i wanted to rename the file it didn't let me rename it it just said, it said that i don't have permission for it i want to delete that file it said i don't have permission for it i don't know what reason this is i went on the apple forums couldn't find anything and because from the discussion one person found a way that you have to go to the settings and this and that and delete that file from the storage menu and I think this is pretty frustrating. This is where you know that at the end, this is an Apple device. It's, it is going to get you on your nerves. It's going to it's going to stop you from doing something. It's 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 going to frustrate you. Now, moving towards the end of this video, I need to make a statement if I like this device or not. Uh, I would say yes. If the, there were things, certain things that the Apple would love to change, make the file explorer a bit better. Bit powerful this can be your go-to device like a perfect yes perfect 10 score now if you like today's video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you get notified and yeah hit the bell icon so you get notified every time i upload a new video and if there are any apps you would like me to try on this ipad you have been using your ipad you know you love that app feel free to try and just write that in the comment and i will just try this app till then